Well, so today we are going to talk about Kiali, a tool to traverse Istio. Who is not familiar with Istio? Okay, so Istio complements Kubernetes, uh, is enhancing traffic management, observability, and security. And uh, it was a, it's an open source HMS project launched in 2017 by Google, IBM, and Lyft. Uh, well, we are developers from the Kiali core team. I am Alberto, Fernando, and Haik. And this is the agenda for today. We are going to have a roadshow about Kiali. Then we are going to move to the Kiali plugins, first to the OPC CMS console, and then we'll talk about Kiali in backstage with the Red Hat developer hub, that is the Red Hat product that provides this software. So, what is Kiali? Kiali is an open source project that uh, we started six years ago, a few months later than a well, few months after Istio once. And uh, is the official observability console for Istio, and it's included too in the CNCF. And some numbers about Kiali, uh, about the repo, uh, we have more than 3,000 stars, 400 cores, and more than 100 contributors. That is not bad for a console. But what is Kiali doing for us? Kiali helps you to understand the structure of your service mess by providing a visual representation of your uh, microservice architecture. Uh, it's not only so how your services interact with each other, sorry. Uh, uh, but also offers insights in, into their health, performance, and overall status. Kiali has a rich set of features, like these ones, traces, metrics, with us that help you to create the Istio objects that you need for make traffic management, validations that are going to check that your configurations are right, and others that we are going to see right now. So now I'm going to take to give the control to Hike. Thank you, Alberto. So. Uh, describing the Kiali features, let's start from the first page, which is the main page after the login. It's called Overview page. It shows overview, overall information about names, namespaces. You are on your cluster. Uh, either there are uh, data planes or a control plane namespace. So for the, contro for the control plane, it showed the label here as a control plane. And for the rest of the namespaces, there are data planes. And the overview page shows the health of your namespaces, summarized, uh, and show the traffic to your namespace, both inbound and outbound. So you, you can choose the, from this drop down to show the inbound and outbound traffic. Then it shows the health of your applications. You, you can choose whether the overview page shows the health for your applications or workloads or services. And it also shows the sum up of Istio configuration validations. This is another feature of configuration validation we will talk about in the next slide. So after the over, overview page, the core feature of Kiali is the traffic graph. Uh, it shows traffic between your nodes. It shows the health of your nodes. So you can choose a, to show the traffic for a single namespace or for several namespaces. Uh, it it dis displays the traffic from by different protocols like HTTP, gRPC, TCP, and the edges and nodes of the graph show health so by their color, whether they are yellow, red, or, gr or green. In, in this case, the, tr the traffic is flowing sm smoothly and uh, all the nodes are healthy. Uh, also, graph allows to choose various range of, range of layouts. So this graph is droppable, draggable. And on the side panel, it shows the statistics uh, for the nodes both traces and traffic. Mm. 
for, for graph, we, we talk about the display options. So, so you can see here in the drop down there are a, a lot of controllable options to display, like traffic animation, security with security icons. Uh, in a demo, you can see that the tra how the traffic animation is flowing, how the traffic is flowing through the applications. And also, it's showing the traffic distribution. For instance, in our case, uh, you can see that there is no traffic on version 2 application of this, of this data plane, but it is shown because we have chosen the idle nodes. Another feature of traffic graph is, is, the, is the filter. So user can choose either to find and highlight some of the traffic or hide, hide those nodes. So we choose to uh, highlight all, all the nodes which rank is less or equal than two and hide those one, one which are more than, more than two. So its traffic graph is showed partially only for requested nodes. And when, when you choose one of those nodes on the right side panel, you can see the, traf the information about the traffic. The, the rates are shown here, which, which one is fine, the rest are the er error cases. Uh, uh, in our case, all, all is fine, traffic is flowing. And the traces tab which will show the traces to this node uh, with the links to uh, Grafana. Uh, one recently added feature of Graph is the replay option. Uh, here, here we have on the top side panel we have a replay button. While clicking on it, the replay page is open, uh, so you can choose the uh, select select the start time and the end time. Uh, choose the speed of the replay. Hit the replay button. It will show you your tr traffic and your and your graph with the statuses with the health of that time selected time period. We were talking about applications, services, and workloads. So Kiali has a list pages to show all this information uh, from your mesh. So it is showing the applications with their health, services with, with their health, and same for the workloads. Uh, showing the configuration validations and the links to configurations. And those list items are clickable. You click it, it will show the more detailed information, for instance, for services. In overview page, it comes with the health. And also, it shows a graph section uh, titled particularly, particularly to that uh, service version. Just mean called the mini graph and there are there are links um, and from services to workloads and from workloads to applications you so you can you can you can jump jump through ob through the objects and see how they are all related and for the next slide i'm giving my to my colleague fernando thank you hike So, okay, uh, all the previous features, the traffic graph, the details, page, the list pages, shows information about our applications deployed in the service mess. But what about the infrastructure? What about the providers that makes the service mess happen? For example, Istio, Jagger, Grafana, Prometheus, all the providers that store all the logs, metrics, and traces that are used by the service mess. So, Kiali all provides a mess graph where you can see all the information that it's um, all the information that it's related to the to the to your infrastructure so you can see uh, the version and the health of each one so for example if there is one of the service provider that it's wrong or is unreachable it appears here in red so that if there is an issue you can go there 
and see what has happened to your uh, service mess in order to troubleshoot it and fix it. Other information is all the YAML configuration, all the configuration of each provider, control plane metrics, about resources, metrics, CPU, data plane information of the namespaces, and even uh, when you are doing a canary upgrade, so uh, when you are moving, upgrading your Istio from a new, to a newer version, uh, and you have to move every namespace little by little, so it shows information about what are the pending namespaces that you, you need to be deployed in the new Istio version. Okay, next one is uh, about multi-cluster. Well, probably you know uh, what is multi-cluster or what is the, the target. It's uh, simple, simplest uh, deployment Istio. It's with a single cluster, but we have a problem that there is an issue there. Uh, you just have only a single point of failure, but in more complex scenarios and in production, you need high availability, you need uh, fault isolation. So for the reason, uh, Istio and Kiali supports uh, multi-cluster configuration. There are two different types of multi-cluster. The first one is uh, primary remote. In this uh, scenario, there is only one control plane, one Istio control plane, that handles all the multi-cluster that are in your service mess. Kiali, uh, both in the traffic graph, but more in the uh, mess graph, shows that you have one cluster with Istio, and you have two data namespaces. One in the same cluster as Istio is deployed, and the other uh, clusters, uh, namespaces in, in, in other clusters. The second one, is multi-primary. This one is a bit more complex, but more secure, because you have uh, multiple Istio control planes. So if there is an issue in one of the Istio deployments, you, can, you have the other one. So uh, here, and also Kiali, so it's both in the traffic graph and also in the mesh graph, that you have two Istio uh, control planes deployed and its namespaces per, per cluster. Okay, about tracing, um, which as, as Hike has uh, said, um, in the service mess, which handles uh, all the traffic in your uh, application, so it just collects a lot of information about um, observability metrics, logs, and tracing. Uh, Istio supports both uh, Jagger and Grafana Tempo, so Kiali receives all the uh, all the tracing information, and even sends its own traces for debugging purposes. The Kiali also uh, supports uh, the open telemetry format for collector and processing. Okay, uh, there is, apart from uh, Istio, well, I didn't know that most of you know Istio, so Istio, it's uh, sidecar, proxy, it injects a sidecar proxy in order to handle all the communication. So uh, the problem of injecting a sidecar in every pod is that it's quite uh, memory and resource consumption. So there is a very, very new approach uh, to uh, uh, provide a service mess with its sidecar, la sidecar less. Uh, and it's just splitting the function. So instead of injecting a, uh, an proxy in every pod, we are inje injecting a, a small uh, C tunnel in every node and provides uh, L4 feature for TCP, security and traffic management for TCP. And there is uh, one way called Waypoint Proxy, which is an Envoy Proxy, in every namespace for uh, L7 features about HTTP routing, HTTP security, and more advanced uh, authentication. Doing this, uh, we just is more resilient because uh, there is, um, I mean, it can be more scale because uh, you just have only one waypoint proxy for namespace and one C tunnel per node instead of the pod. How Kiali shows that? So, I mean, it's quite new. Uh, latest version of Istio is 1.22 and it's in beta. So, we are working hard to, to adapt it to, to ambient. Uh, Kiali detects, uh, although there are no sidecars, uh, um, Kiali is able just uh, to uh, detect that a namespace is ambient. Uh, so we have a batch here. And also in the traffic graph, we are able to show all the TCP communications between the nodes and even all the hops to the waypoint proxy.
for all the L7 features. And now for Kubernetes Kit with API. Yeah, thank you, Fernando. So another feature Kial is supporting is the Gateway API. But let's start what is Gateway API. Uh, Kubernetes Gateway API is the next generation of service mesh APIs. Uh, and is focused on L4 and L7 round routing of Kubernetes. Basically, it's an industry st standard interface. It has several implementations and is an evolution of ingress based on Istio. And Gateway API comes with three types of resources. The first is Gateway class, uh, which is basically a type of Gateway controller. Then the Gateway is a point of access for traffic routing. And, and the route, route itself, like with protocols, HTTP, gRPC, TCP, and different protocols of routing. It's for ingress and for mesh traffic. So Istio supports that, so the Kiali does. Uh, in Kiali, uh, we display all, all these uh, Kubernetes Gateway API resources, as we mentioned, HTTP, gRPC, and Gateway. So it's, it's listed here in the list of Istio configurations within. Then also in a Kiali graph page, uh, as an icon in a side panel, when a node has configured to uh, gate to gate, use gateway API, then the icon is there. Uh, Kiali has a feature of creating uh, traffic via the wizard. So you go to service and create a traffic to that service via wizard. And this wizard also supports creating Kubernetes gateway API routing. So so basically you choose some request matching, filtering, uh, and, and create the traffic, Kiali will generate for you HTTP route and Kubernetes gateway resources. So you, then, you don't have to do it manually. And Kiali has more wizard features uh, for Istio routing. Then uh, you, can, you, you can choose the some some routing weight, uh, add more filters. Uh, you you can choose some mm, let let's say fault injection on your on your on the traffic of your service, some request timeout, some circuit breaker, and so on. So Kiali will generate all the necessary configurations for you. You don't have to do it manually, but if you want to do it manually, uh, Kiali allows to directly edit the Istio configuration files in a YAML editor. And don't worry if you break it. Kiali has a various set of validations. So when configuration is broken or it has a conflict with other configurations, uh, Kiali will show uh, some validation message on the broken line, uh, like uh, error, warning, or Infra information uh, and with some error codes and with some help what, what what's going on and how you can fix it. And if the configuration is having a conflicts with other configurations, then they are linked. So you can see the warning message and the link to which configuration is, is it has a conflict so so you can fix fix them. When the, when the configurations are fine, they are green, uh, Kiali shows the links to other related configurations or some workloads or services, which is it config to. Kiali is used worldwide, so currently it supports two languages, English and Chinese. So it's, it, it was the this internationalization was a community initiative, was done by community member. So community members are welcome to add more languages and help us. So for Kiali plugins, 
Hello. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the Kiali plugins. I mean, all the things that we have shown, uh, all the slides were related to Kiali standalone application, which is quite good, but nowadays uh, people want to uh, check the information, everything integrated in one console. So um, our idea was to, okay, try to show Kiali information integrated in the OpenShift console and even in the Red Hat Developer Hub, which is based in uh, Backstage. So first of all, I'm going to talk uh, about uh, OSSMC, which is uh, OpenShift Service Mesh Console, which is a plugin, a Kiali plugin for OpenShift. And once it's installed through a uh, Kiali operator, and when you install it, it appears in the navigation menu of uh, OpenShift console, a new section called Service Mess, which uh, shows uh, most of the features that have uh, been uh, explained previously. The, the overview, the traffic graph, the Istio config list, and the mess page. And you can see exactly, you have the same information that you have in the Kiali standalone applications, but integrated in your uh, OpenShift console. Um, in OpenShift console, you know that you can uh, take uh, a look and um, review all other Kubernetes resources. You have the workloads, you have the services. So instead of setting a list like in the standalone applications here, we have integrated the service mesh information in those Kubernetes resources. So if you click to any service uh, or uh, any pod um, details, you can see here that we uh, Kiali plugin adds a new service mesh tab along with the details, YAML, this is the, the standard one. So we add a new service mesh tab that shows all the information of the service mesh attached to this um, service or workload. So uh, what it's uh, already shown in the in the Kiali standard application is shown in the OpenShift console. Okay, and for finish, uh, this is the Kiali plugin for Backstay for in the product we have developer hub. We are still working on it, but for now we are supporting three ways to use this plugin. One of them is see the Kiali standalone with a link in the menu of Backstage. So you are going to see the same build. Wow. <laughs> what happened? Sorry. So we are going to see all the views that we saw with you before. The second option is the entity view. If you don't know about Backstage, uh, an entity in Backstage is a set of components, resources, and services that is in your organization. Let's see that I am developer. I just want to see the my application running in my service mesh. I don't want to take care about all the namespaces that are running in my service space. I only want to see all information related with that application. So in Backstage, I will have an entity with some metadata information that is going to match that application. So Kiali is going only to show you the resources related with that entity. And the third option is uh, Car feature, we call it that car feature. Uh, back Red Hat developer hub let the user customize the view and add cars depending on the information that he wants to see. Uh, for now, Kiali have the resources car. We are working in have the overview on the graph, but we hope to have them soon. That is great because the user can see, for example, the graph page, the graph, uh, the car graph of Kiali with the pipelines of the plugin and all in the same dashboard. And when community site, this is some useful links. If you want to know more about Kiali, we have more features and documentation on how to make a great setup in Kiali.io or repo, where you can see all the issues, all the sprints that we have every few weeks, that all the demos are uploaded in our YouTube channel. You can reach us in our Kiali channel in Istio Slack. We have a great blog box with demo configuration setups. And finally, our Twitter, we want to reach this year the 3,000 followers. We are in 3,000, so please 
reach us and you can get our free sticker. And that's it. So if you have any questions, please ask. It was clear. The question is whether we are moving from proxy to ambient mode. How, how the logs are? How, how So, 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 so let, let's repeat the question. The, the question is whether we are moving from injecting proxy to the ambient mode, and and are, are we going to keep the logs uh, how, and how those those logs are stored and and shown, right? Outside of the containers, yeah. So that that Z Z tunnel and V pro point proxy, they. Do they have log? Are they showing log? They are. This is totally new for us. It's a system beta in the 1.22. And the problem is that uh, the, the person of the team that is working on that is, is not here, of course. <laughs> but uh, is, is, is you want, uh, mm, we can talk later. And I can ask that for, for you. Uh, because mm, I, can, I can say you nothing, because I have no idea idea about how it's working okay sorry yeah ba basically uh, for those workloads uh, when you go to the details page we, we don't have this we don't have this this screenshot but if you go to the workload details page it has a logs tab and in logs tab it has a drop down it, you, you can choose whether to show the logs from proxy or from pod itself so the, the logs from pod remains Thank you. Do we have a time for short? Oh, yeah, just just three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are running that lot, but I don't know exactly how it works in, inside the system. But that, that's the problem. I think that you can get the, the logs of the workloads itself, themselves, and then probably that C tunnel and the envoy pro and the waypoint proxy have their own logs, and you will. Will will be able to take it, but not one hundred percent sure. <laughs> Any other question? Okay. So, oh. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs>